Hi everyone! There are many wonders of construction that have written their own history and are known worldwide, but how well do we really know them? Some of them hold curious peculiarities and secrets, while others are a mystery in themselves. In this video, you'll find some examples and, possibly, a surprise or two. Let's get started. London's Smallest Police Station a visit to London should include a detour to Trafalgar Square. However, unbeknownst to you, you're visiting more than just Nelson's column. In contrast to the column and the statue of the Great Admiral, which can be seen from afar, there's another discreet and hidden attraction in the southeast corner of the square. London's smallest police station. It's a decorative light column with doors and small viewing slits, built in the late 1920s. Its purpose was to detect potential trouble at Trafalgar Square gathering gatherings, and, if necessary, alert Scotland Yard through a direct phone line. When the officer inside picked up the phone, the light on top of the police station would flash. This also allowed patrolling officers to immediately see that something was wrong. The Statue of Liberty Considered a symbol of hope for immigrants, the Statue of Liberty originally held a different meaning for the United States itself. The freedom illuminating the world was intended to commemorate the end of slavery. The broken chains she held in her left hand are still there, although barely visible beneath her feet. It seems both instructive and profane that this symbol of freedom was used as a beacon as early as 1887, just one year after its inauguration. However, this idea was abandoned for various reasons. The most significant significant symbol, of course, resides in the Torch of Liberty. While it's less well known that the original torch can now be seen at the Statue of Liberty Museum, a more recent version has been in her hand, above the waves since 1986. In the past, visitors could even climb up using a single ladder. Up to 12 people could ascend to the torch and step out onto the balcony. Today, for safety reasons, only National Park Service personnel can undertake this awe-inspiring climb. Mount Rushmore National Monument Who isn't familiar with the heads of U.S. Presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln, immortalized in the rock of Mount Rushmore? The construction of this monument in the Black Hills of South Dakota took 14 years. The imposing facade is known worldwide, but what is hidden in the rock behind the monument is likely less well-known. The cave known as the Hall of Records was intended to be a sanctuary of the sculpture of democracy, a message for later civilizations or extraterrestrial visitors. The project was not completed in this form. What remains is a vault with 16 porcelain enamel panels on which, in addition to the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. The biographies of the four presidents and the history of the U.S. are written. The Roman Colosseum for centuries, the Roman Colosseum has been the quintessential monument of Rome. Everyone knows its striking exterior. However, many people are unaware of the hidden parts where the true construction expertise lies. The underground facilities and tunnels not only provided space for wild animals and gladiators, but also housed, among other things, lifting devices and platforms that could be raised to the arena. Some of the most interesting areas were only accessible to archaeologists for a long long time, and have only recently been opened to the public. Thus, ancient Rome unveils another window into its many mysteries. The Vasari Corridor In 1565, Duke Cosimo I de' Medici of Florence found a solution to a problem with which most rulers struggled and still do today. Avoiding the public, with the Vasari Corridor, a connection is created between the Palazzo Vecchio, the Uffizi Gallery, and the Pitti Palace, that is, the private residence and government building, hidden from public view. It is a structure approximately one kilometer long that also crosses the Arno River. As the true purpose of the construction was to remain hidden, the Vasari Corridor was, of course, a secret. By way, at the spot where it crosses the loggia of the Church of Santa Felicita. The Medici could participate in religious services through a balcony without contact with the populace. The Empire State Building Although it had to relinquish its title as the world's tallest building, the Empire State has become a symbol of modernity, and still today, with its 102 floors, 
remains a defining part of Manhattan's famous skyline. Impressive, but not entirely correct. The upper structure with the enormous antenna was actually intended as a mooring mast for airships. Its lower part holds a secret that many probably don't know. The 103rd floor. This area, not open to the public, is only for those with strong nerves. At a dizzying height, only a knee-high ledge with a small railing separates visitors from free-falling into the abyss. At the bottom of the building, in the basement, there's also a small extra, where the Empire State Building now stands. A river once flowed. This still seeps up on particularly rainy days. The Vanderbilt Tennis Club some places have hidden secrets, while others are mysterious in themselves. The latter is certainly true in the case of the Vanderbilt Tennis Club. What makes it special is that it's tucked away on the fourth floor of Grand Central Terminal, a Manhattan train station. Today, the club is open to the public, although the corresponding high prices indicate its exclusivity, especially since it's not heavily advertised. On the contrary, finding it is a real challenge. Therefore, it's not surprising that most people have never heard of the Vanderbilt Tennis Club, named after the builder of Grand Central Terminal. Although it was founded in the 1960s by Hungarian immigrant Giza A. Gaster, it became a stomping ground for the rich and famous, attracting Donald Trump, who acquired the entire complex in 1984. The club, which was then on the third floor, closed in 2009 and reopened in 2011 on the newly constructed fourth floor. The Eiffel Tower in 1889, Paris almost had to do without its world-famous monument. The Eiffel Tower was close to going to Barcelona, as Paris didn't want such a monstrosity in the city. Thus, the tower was erected in Paris for the 1889 World's Fair, that was supposed to be dismantled after a maximum of 20 years. Instead of becoming scrap, it ended up becoming the city's most famous monument. By the way, the British royal family and Buffalo Bill were among the first visitors. It's no secret that the Eiffel Tower was considered the world's tallest building for a long time. Other facts, however, are not known to everyone. French civil engineer and namesake Gustave Eiffel installed a secret room in the tower that was actually more like a small apartment. In addition to furniture, there was even a bathroom. By the way, a bedroom was missing, and overnight stays were probably not planned. Among other distinguished visitors, Thomas Edison is said to have been a guest and the apartment can still be visited today. A little lower than the apartment, the names of 72 French scientists and engineers from past times are engraved as a tribute. On the third floor of the Eiffel Tower, there's a meteorology lab. The fact that cosmic radiation was discovered in the Eiffel Tower proves that research in this case was not near theory. The military secret affected the bunker built under the Eiffel Tower in 1909, which can also be visited today including a visit to a small museum. Abandoned Subway Station the famous Crystal Palace was built in London for the Great Exhibition of 1851. However, the building fell victim to a fire on November 30, 1936, after an explosion. What initially survived was the associated subway station, which opened in 1865. During World War II, it served as an air raid shelter, but it was also demolished in 1954. Thus, the richly decorated underground was left to its fate. Fortunately, the underground was subject to a preservation order and is now being restored. The ensemble looks more like a Byzantine church than a secular subway station. No wonder, as it was intended for the upper class of the time. The subway thus offers a fascinating insight into the Victorian era. Grand Central Terminal the Grand Central Terminal itself is one of the busiest stations in Manhattan and has been used as a movie set on more than one occasion. Over 700,000 people pass through the station each day, almost none of them aware that they are walking past a valuable work of art. We're referring to the clock on the main information counter of the station. The four clock faces are made of precious opal, and the clock's value has been estimated at $20 million. Things get truly mysterious when it comes to the underground. 
underground. And in this regard, Grand Central Station also has a special feature to offer. Deep within the station, there is a secret station from the 1930s. The reason for its construction was then President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. His worsening polio confined him to a wheelchair in his later years. Of course, this was less in line with the image of the energetic and dynamic president that the U.S. had, so wheelchair appearances had to be avoided as much as possible. A special train car and an extra wide elevator were constructed so that Franklin Delano Roosevelt could be driven from the train car to the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in an armored limousine. As everyone knows, Franklin Delano Roosevelt has long been out of the Oval Office, but now that this facility has been or is there, it has been and continues to be used by successors in the White House.